Have you ever wanted to talk to your favorite YouTuber? Would you rather have unlimited bacon, but no more games? Or games? Unlimited games and no games. That's a tough one. I think I would have to go with unlimited games, but with no bacon. But with unlimited games, you have no games. In my last video, I posted a demo of the chatbot I coded, and it was received really well, especially in the wrong subreddit. But I already had more plans. I wanted to put chatbots into an NPC. Then with the demo I had and the NPC, I can shove them together and then boom, now I can talk to Dream. I found the responses to be actually pretty good, and I can even ask for advice on my videos, which I kind of need. You can even ask you questions and follow up questions to get to know you better. Then I brought up the topic of chatbots and the conversation flowed really well. Then I asked it if it was a chatbot and it gave me this response. But how good is it? To really test this new tech, I interviewed a bunch of chatbots. Like a bunch. So I interviewed a bunch of NPC YouTubers, testing their knowledge of the Dream SP, their channels and their personality. So after some testing, some things I found about it is that it has knowledge of the YouTuber and a bit about the type of content they have, but not what their content actually is. They know of it and some YouTubers that are in it, but not what they actually do. It's like if someone only hears about it on Twitter. Sometimes if it didn't know something, it would just generate something that would sound realistic. And another thing about it is I didn't really feel like the personalities of the YouTubers were shown at all when I was talking to them. The only one that was a little bit was Skeppies, which immediately asked me about doing a challenge, which is kind of something he would do, but that might be because of the type of content he makes. But yeah, I didn't get any sense of the YouTuber themselves. It was just like they were just reading off a Wikipedia page. Yo Skeppy, thanks for the one thousand subscribers. <laughs> yeah, just punch him. Hey, hey, don't punch him back, hey. Oh, you're talking to Captain Smuggles. Hey, hi there, what can I help you today? Ask him how many subscribers he has. How many subscribers do you have? Go, oh, get out of my way, slime support. <laughs> Captain Sparkles here. 17 million. Wow. Lame. So bad. <laughs> yes, I've created a few different custom maps. Oh, yeah, he's using. Probably not right, uh, but. Some mods, uh, maybe? Uh, what mod? <laughs> yeah, I'll come for the Skeppy. What's up, Blue Man? Just to add a note, I added a feature where the chatbot procedurally generates its own backstory. This gives it more realistic responses as it has more background about that YouTuber. Like with Skeppy, it knows about his background, which we will see. Are you sure, ask, tempted, or irritable? Ask him uh, who's his best friend. Who's your best friend? He's gonna say Freshy, right? Freshy, <laughs> yeah. He's gonna say he's gonna say Freshy, yeah. Oh, you got it right. Oh, <laughs> wow, That's you got it right. Bad boy Halo. Cor What's it fun? Make so it weird. Weird. Yeah, Ask him if he has any challenges for you. Do you have any challenges? Uh, you don't mind the spelling of challenges. How about trying to build a house in Minecraft in under 10 minutes? Oh, wow. Uh, easy. Give me the box now. <laughs> okay. Put the timer. Put the timer in the top. Oh, put, put the timer, timer on top. Yeah. In the in the Alright, go, go, go. Another feature I added was to get the YouTuber NPCs to follow me. So I could easily move them around and position them where I needed them. This way you could have like a companion that follows you around. Okay, you got your three judges. Oh, uh, I just got it quickly. Nice. It's pretty nice with these shaders. Yeah. What the? <laughs> this is my house. Why are you taking... Well, the villagers uh, are coming for the... a party. Oh, how many are there? <laughs> Judges, what are, you, what are you thinking here? Okay, so talk to each one. Just okay. Say, hey, I want hey. to show you my house. Can you follow me? My house. Follow me. Okay, now talk to Rambu. <laughs> Just say the same thing. Um, I want to show you my house. Yeah, yeah, me. I'll, I'll say the same thing. Oh, <laughs> something. My bad, my bad. Oh, I see that was. <laughs> oh, he's advertising himself. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, uh, I was quacking if I wanted. Man, alright. Oh, right. yeah, let's go, let's go. Hey, guys, I got a really good house. <laughs> uh, don't mind the villagers, okay? <laughs> don't mind villagers. What do you think of my house? I'm gonna say it's good. Thank you. 
<laughs> hey, what about you? Wow, uh, this house of has got so much character. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> this Lydex Ethan kid doing it. <laughs> That's the design that takes you to detail. It's incredible, the bed roof and wall really make this house stand out from the rest. Thank you. So that's a 10 out of 10? I think I, I think I did. <laughs> what did you score? Give me a Minecraft challenge. <laughs> oh, he's gave me a 10 out of 10. Oh, he gave it a 10. After spending lots of time coding and talking to these chatbots, I did have some unease about the potential of this technology. One is that impersonations may become more realistic, making it easy to generate content in real time based on someone else's personality. At this stage, there's no concerns since their responses show none of their personality. But this is going to improve in the future. A skill of knowing what to believe in becomes so much more important. And right now it's like a huge mess, especially due to TikTok. So there you have it, that's the cool tech of the chat AI in Minecraft. There's some more cool stuff I'll be demoing uh, soon. But this is cool tech and it's best to have fun with it before you know uh, AI takes over at some point. So I hope you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and like if you enjoyed the video and comment down below what you would like to see next. That's all for this video, goodbye.